Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to use attributed string. So, attributed, um, well, not just specifically strings, but attributed text is actually really useful for when you want to uh, have one line of text, but it wants to have different sort of formattings. So, for this demonstration, all I'm going to do is uh, add a label and then give it some attributed text so if I just search up label and I'll give this a few constraints uh, we'll give this chaboon we'll make it size 35 and just give this a constraint I mean not constraint a outlook Okay, now I can go to my view controller, and the first thing we need to do is create at the attribute string. So, what I'll do is create a let attributed string, and for this example, um, I'll choose a color. But so, what we want to do is do mutatable attribute string dot init. And we want to init with the string. This is, and what color should we pick? Um, let's pick green, or let's pick lime actually. And now, what we have to do is uh, create a range. So let range is equal to any string. This range is just going to be telling uh, the attribute a string where to a uh, break string and we want this to just be a normal string this is going to be this is line we're just covering up this oh wait let me just get rid of that capital letter so we're just creating this and then we want to create a dot range of uh, the line bit now we can just add some options so what we can do is uh, uh, what we can do is options and now we can have string.compare options and we'll just have case insensitive now we can decide what we want to do with this string so what we'll do is add an attribute string dot add attributes and the range will be the range and the attributes we want are going to be uh, we can have a ns attributed string oh, ns attributed string dot key and then we'll have a oh, dot foreground color we want this to be ui color dot uh, we'll have green because that's just the easiest. And now, oh, this needs to be a list. Oops, oopsies. So just create that. Okay. Actually, let me find a real lime color. So all I have to do is uh, go to this. We can just click on custom. I can try and find a color. I'll probably want something like that. Uh, yeah, that's good. And now we can just copy these values. So I want a UI color uh, red. We want red 144, 255, and 42. Alpha 0. I mean, that should be 1. Okay. Let me just reset this background color. Uh, what background color was this? Just normal system background color. And now, the last thing we need to do is just set the label's text to that attribute of string. So, you don't do label.text actually. Uh, a label has a special attribute of text um, property. And we can just set this to attribute of string. Okay. So now let's run this and what we should find is we should have a label with this is lime and then the lime bit will be 
in Lime. So we'll just check. And oh, what's wrong here? Uh, oh, I think I need to add a. Oh, I need to add a font. Not to worry, we can add a font. All I need to do is uh, uh, I just need to add a font by uh, adding a second key. So in this thing, in this attributed string dot key dot font and uh, this is going to be UI font dot init name and uh, I'll just take the system's default font I've forgotten what it's called I think it's called system yeah just system yeah just system so name system and size 35 okay now let's run this again hopefully it works but I have a feeling uh, oh no. Ooh. Select. Uh, what does this mean? I think that was an error here. Uh, oh. Oh, I. F oh, let's create as any. Okay, I think. I still think this might not work. Yeah. Uh, I can just. Okay, I'll just set a random font as. This is just one that comes to mind. PT sounds regular. That's all I remember. It's because I was doing something that I had to use this for. But now I think this should work. Hopefully. Oh no. What's going on here? Uh. Hmm. I wonder if it's the. Uh. The actual. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but uh, I'm just gonna see what happens if I get rid of the actual font. Uh, maybe it's something to do with the color. I'll just set this as UI color dot green. Okay, let's run this again. There we go. Yeah, it was a problem with the color. Okay, well that's how you use attributed strings in. Swift and if you if you want to change this then you can just add more attributes to it so yeah that's how you customize different parts of the same line anyway see you guys in a later video bye for now